Number 10. Helicopter Crash After taking a leap of faith and getting married, usually the next step is for a newlywed couple to go on their honeymoon. It involves taking time alone to really let the reality of marriage sink in and spend time with your new partner. Sadly though, these trips don't always go well. In November 2018, two 23-year-olds were killed after leaving their wedding. Will Byler and Bailey Ackerman had barely said I do when the helicopter they were riding in tragically crashed. Over 700 people attended their ceremony in Uvalde, Texas, including close friends and loved ones. But nobody would have thought the couple's aircraft would fly straight into a large hill, which is exactly what happened. According to a weather report gathered from that day, the wind conditions were light and visibility seemed clear. The pilot was a 76-year-old veteran named Gerald Lawrence, who unfortunately also died in the collision. A distress signal from the aircraft was sent out automatically and warned officials of the wreckage somewhere around 1.30 a.m., over an hour after the initial crash. When daylight hit, authorities used ATVs to drive around the wreckage and look for survivors, but there weren't any. While searching for clues as to why the helicopter crashed, investigators had to hold pieces of the wreck up with ropes so they wouldn't fall down the steep hill. It doesn't seem like any updates on this case have been made, so it's more than likely that this was just a freak accident. If there's any bright side at all, at least Will and Bailey died with the person they loved most. Number 9. Marina Morgan On June 20, 2022, 29-year-old Marina Morgan and her recently wedded husband, Robbie, were just relaxing and enjoying their honeymoon in Hamilton Island, Australia. They said their vows just 10 days before, but little did they know, tragedy was about to strike. While traveling around on a golf cart, the main mode of transportation on the island, the couple was involved in an accident. Detectives don't think that any foul play was involved in the crash, and there didn't seem to be any signs that Marina or Robbie had been under the influence. It was likely a case of inexperience since many people aren't accustomed to driving the golf buggies. Police inspector Anthony Cowan told The Sun that it's possible they just made too quick of a turn, forcing the car to roll onto its side. In the process of it tipping over, Marina fell out. She apparently wasn't wearing a seatbelt when her husband was making the sharp U-turn. Medical professionals did their best to help the bride, but in the end, none of their attempts to resuscitate her worked, and she was pronounced dead. We can't imagine how heartbreaking it must have been for Robbie to lose his wife in this manner, and our hearts go out to the couple's loved ones. Number 8. Costas and Lindsay 30-year-old Costas John Civilis made a living as a pilot and flight instructor working for United Airlines. After getting hitched to 33-year-old Lindsay Vogelar, the two must have been so excited for their bright future together. Instead of going through the process of a long, detailed wedding, the couple thought it'd be better just to elope, so they traveled to Telluride, Colorado and held an intimate ceremony. Since many of their loved ones couldn't be there on such short notice, Costas and Lindsay posted several photos and videos of their trip online for their families to see. In October 2020, they were heading back to their home state of Florida, bringing to an end their honeymoon which was packed full of adventures and worthwhile memories. Costas was flying their small plane back, but about 10 or so minutes after taking off from the Ingram Basin, they crashed. A report made by the National Transportation Safety Board says that it most likely happened when Costas somehow lost control. He was trying to pull the aircraft up to gain altitude when he lost his bearings. No mechanical issues were discovered, and the safety board also claimed that they didn't receive a distress call prior to the crash. Unfortunately, the couple lost their lives in the wreck. Those who knew the lovebirds say that they were crazy about each other. They both worked in the airline industry, and it seemed to be a big part of their lives. Although it's a tragic story, it seems fitting that this is how they went out. Number 7. Christy Chen In the summer of 2022, a Tennessee woman named Christy Chen was on her honeymoon in Fiji. While there, the 39-year-old was subject to a brutal attack which ultimately resulted in her death. Christy and her new husband, 38-year-old Bradley Robert Dawson, were staying at a room in the Turtle Island Resort off the main island of Nadi on Nanue Levu. At some point during their stay, the newlywed woman was beaten inside the bathroom of their accommodations. Police instantly started to suspect the only other person staying in the room, Bradley, and he was arrested a few days after the gruesome murder. An autopsy revealed that Christy sustained several blunt injuries on both her face and head. The most important takeaway is that the injuries weren't consistent with a simple accident, meaning someone did this to Christy. The woman's parents were called to view the body, 
and her mother was apparently so distraught by the poor state of her daughter that she was inconsolable. Due to the severity of the wounds around her eyes, morticians told the victim's family not to have her body embalmed because they feared the embalming fluid would leak out. Because of this, her parents were forced to cremate their daughter, and since the island had no actual crematorium, they had to do it on an open wood funeral pyre. The main suspect, Bradley, had been acting suspicious prior to Christie's body being discovered. He'd apparently confided in a local man that he and his new wife had recently gotten into an argument. Afterwards, he left the resort with only his wallet and passport. Authorities now believe he was trying to escape the country. If he's found guilty of the murder, Bradley could face life in prison. But at the moment, his case is ongoing. Why do you think Bradley Robert Dawson murdered his wife, Christy Chen, on their honeymoon? Do you think they got into an argument while intoxicated and things got out of hand? Or do you think that infidelity may have been a motive for the crime? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. Amy and Steven In August 2018, a couple from Utah was tragically killed in a car crash. 28-year-old Amy Moffat and her brand new husband, 30-year-old Stephen Graham, got married and were driving around Washington when the accident took place at around 7.30 p.m. Despite both of them taking proper safety precautions and wearing their seatbelts, they lost their lives. After an investigation, officials think that Amy likely fell asleep behind the wheel. They were driving a pickup truck on the highway when the vehicle started to drift slightly to one side. It's believed that Amy then quickly woke up and panicked. This caused them to lose control and the truck started rolling. The newlyweds had been on their way to British Columbia to celebrate their honeymoon. Days before the crash, Amy posted on her social media accounts about how excited she was to marry Stephen. They were hitched in a close ceremony at a civil service building. She mentioned how lucky she felt to marry the love of her life. On that fateful night, a friend of the lovebirds named Spencer Lutzak was driving close behind them. He said that he barely stopped in time to avoid hitting their truck. In regards to his friend's passing, Spencer poetically said, Shakespeare couldn't have written this story. Number 5. Mr. and Mrs. Rodriguez In 2011, Victor Rodriguez and Crystal Ann Andrews got married. The two decided to go to the Bahamas for their honeymoon, but their hopes of fun and relaxation didn't exactly go as planned. Less than 12 days after tying the knot, Crystal was killed. The 22-year-olds attended California State University together and were surrounded by 200 friends and loved ones at their wedding. For their first dance, they planned a routine to the hit song Thriller by Michael Jackson. After the wedding, the couple spent some time in Los Angeles before heading to their island getaway. While there, they decided to try out parasailing with the Ocean Motion Water Sports Company. It's unclear exactly what happened, but an accident caused both Crystal and Victor to suffer from severe injuries after the excursion. After his wife was declared dead, the grieving groom was taken to a hospital in Orlando, Florida so that he could recover from his wounds. He spent over three weeks receiving medical treatment and trying to pull through for the sake of his family. Honeymoons are meant to be filled with love, not grief. The pain Victor must have gone through had to have been unbearable. Number 4 the Birch family. Usually couples go on their honeymoon by themselves, but two newlyweds from Hampshire, England decided to take their kids with them to celebrate. The Birch family traveled to Cyprus for their wedding in August 2022. Scott and Vicky brought their children, 14-year-old Connor and 12-year-old Chelsea with them. Just days after the ceremony, Scott fell off the balcony of the hotel the family was staying at in Ayanapa. The 34-year-old man plummeted from the second story of the building and sustained a pretty serious head injury from the fall. He also broke several bones in the process. Michelle Gately, the groom's mother, begged for him to be brought home for treatment. But while his health insurance was able to cover some of the expenses required for his treatment, it couldn't cover everything, let alone the expensive trip home in his condition. So the Birch family launched a fundraising page in order to raise money to bring Scott home. It's difficult to find any updates on this case, but hopefully the new husband was able to recover and get back to England with his wife and children. Number 3. Steen Holtzo On a dreamlike honeymoon in Iceland back in 2018, a woman from the United States was the subject of a horrible tragedy. The newlywed fell into a glacial river called Steen Holtzo. While trapped under the freezing cold waters, she could barely fight back against the current and ended up drowning. Her husband also fell into the depths, but he was able to make it back onto land with his life. 
A rescue team was sent out afterward, and they managed to find the woman's body. But sadly, she never regained consciousness, even with the help of trained professionals. The incident took place in Porschmark, a scenic nature reserve in the Southern Highlands. In order to even get to the area the couple was at, emergency responders had to cross several rivers. According to the police chief in Kloschblitler, the city closest to the site, the couple most likely slipped and fell in too far while crossing one of the bodies of water. Number 2. Ginny Thacker A married couple from Northampton were celebrating their union in Turkey. Even though they'd already been married for about a year, they didn't have the chance to go on a honeymoon after their wedding. They likely thought, better late than never. But after what they went through, Ginny and Darren Thacker would probably say they should have stayed home. After reaching their destination at the Royal Palace Hotel, the Thackers took all their belongings up to their room. It must have been a long trip for the couple, so they likely just wanted to relax. However, the universe had other ideas. When Jenny tried using a light switch, she was instantly zapped by a large electric shock. Darren immediately called for help and had his wife taken to the hospital. When asked about the incident later, Jenny says that she easily could have died. Her and her husband were just sitting and reading, so she tried turning the reading light on. Without even thinking or looking at the switch, the woman reached up, only to realize that there was no switch at all. Instead, there were just a cluster of wires that sent a painful 240 volts of energy through her. The shock caused her to jump off of the bed and even sent the ring on her hand flying off. Luckily, she managed to make a full recovery, but the couple's honeymoon was completely ruined. Number 1. The Rogers In October 2015, an Irish couple on their honeymoon in South Africa lost their lives less than a week after saying, I do. 26-year-old Lynette and 28-year-old John Rogers were enjoying their day, swimming out in Pledenburg Bay, when a sudden riptide pulled them under the water. Sadly, they both drowned. Efforts to resuscitate the lovebirds were made by the National Sea Rescue Initiative after they washed up to shore, but after several futile attempts, they were officially declared dead. The couple posted on Facebook thanking everyone who came to their wedding and wished them well. They said that they'd tell them all about their trip once they returned, which never happened. The news of their deaths shocked the Rogers' loved ones, especially since both Lynette and John were in good shape and were experienced swimmers. Their bodies were found separated on the beach. John was discovered by a man taking a walk, and Lynette was first noticed by a pair of women. Hopefully, their families can rest easy knowing that the two of them are now at peace. Would you rather go to Mexico or Hawaii on your honeymoon? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Bad Badger.